Hello friends, welcome to the new video of CAT channel. Today we discuss regarding different types of binding rebars. I mean, we know uh, when we are binding two rebars in a column or a beam or in a slab, uh, we have to bind it. Means uh, the slab may be of very big length, maybe the column also may be of very big length. And one rebar is, the total length of rebar is 12 meter. So it may go beyond 12 meter and what we have to do? It have to bind with another rebar. That is one method. That is called lapping. Lapping is uh, joining one rebar with the other rebar like this. And uh, it should be like this. If it is a column, it will be like this. And then there will be a joggle. Joggle like this. This uh, bending up is called joggle. And then we are binding it with binding wires with the another rebar. So that the force which comes on this on through this uh, uh, rebar will transmit to the next rebar and this is the lapping stone this is the lap length okay and here if it is a beam or a slab the joker will be like this and this is the uh, lap, lapping stone or lap, lap length and this type of lapping lapping we can do uh, up to 12 mm uh, rebars beyond that recommends is better to transfer the force if we go for uh, coupler or welding. The IS code says that if the bars beyond 36 mm, we can go for welding. That's what the IS code says. And it says also says that uh, if for uh, bars above the above 36 mm, uh, we have to go for a spiral binding. Uh, that is what IS code says. So let us now discuss with three types of binding. One is uh, lapping. Lapping means with the binding wire that I already explained to you. Uh, this is for the beam or the uh, slab this is for the column okay and uh, the second one is about welding welding that it is not at all recommended in any cases actually even if uh, they are telling that we can go for welding the problem with the welding is that beyond 36 mm uh, even if we bind also uh, it will not transfer the real force the total force from one bar rebar to the next rebar so if it gets welded uh, it says that it can transfer but it cannot transfer because once there is some kind of a transverse force acting on the uh, rebar the area where the welded welding is done it is the property of that particular area the property of the steel the property of the reinforcement bar of that particular area is already lost because of welding the property like ductility the tensile strength everything will be lost because it is being welded and if we are how to go for a welding we should uh, use gas pressure and if we go for the gas pressure then it is high expensive so uh, and also uh, again i say that if it is welded the property gets lost and uh, once if there is an earthquake or anything happens then the first uh, part in the steel bar to have a break or a crack is the area where the welded welding has been done so never go for welding in your rebars in reinforcement uh, even if it is column or in a beam or in slab and also the cost wise also the welding part is higher when comparing to the next part that we are going to say regarding the coupler or reducer and the coupler or reducer you can see this is a uh, horizontal bar this is a horizontal bar it is being joined with a coupler and this is a vertical bar uh, joined with another coupler so if the coupler coupler acts as a binding as a joint which uh, joins the top bar with the bar which is below so there are uh, two types of uh, coupler threaded coupler, coupler is the common thing that we are using so first we say about threaded coupler so in the threaded coupler when we are required to use we have to make threads on the uh, rebar first on two rebars we have to make threads by the threading machine and then we have to uh, rotate the rebar and fix it with the coupler in between so that there will be threads in inside the coupler and also along with the rebar so we have to uh, join with the coupler so that the main advantage is that once the force acting which if it is in column force will act from the top and it is directly transferred to the column below because there is no uh, staggered uh, joint if it is a lapping it is a staggered joint so of course the full uh, load which comes on the top will not transfer to the downside but since this is just a coupler the full load will transfer as it is to the downside that is the main advantage of coupler and 
another advantage of uh, using coupler is apart from uh, this uh, lapping no, there will be enough space between the parts if it is a lapping zone then you know already there are there are two like this there are two bars coming so if there is will be another bar coming here the inter the inner space between these two bars will be very less and if the vibrator needle is not going into that thing uh, while we are doing the vibration uh, there will not be any concrete at present concrete present at that particular point so it will add to the honeycomb at that if it is a column so even if we do a portion tapping also uh, uh, vibration also but it's very less chance for the concrete to go inside this area if it is a lapping but if it is coupling cu uh, coupler if we are providing th there is no problem with the space in between and we, we can ensure that enough concrete is being added in, in into the space between the bars so this is the advantage of using coupler and also the expense also if it is uh, beyond 16 mm bar the providing of lapping is actually not economical uh, when comparing to the cost of the bar in that lapping zone when comparing to the cost of the coupler the coupler is less expensive when compared to the um, lapping length bar the bar so this is regarding the uh, threaded coupler another coupler is called mbt coupler it is called mechanical bolted coupler so here there are two types of mechanical bolting happens uh, one is with the allen key allen key bolt and another with, with the high speed tensile bolt so allen key bolt as you have seen this is the shape of the allen key is in the shape of an l and uh, this is the bolt that we are using for the allen key and here this is called the uh, mbt coupler uh, shape of the mbt coupler here it is divided into two parts and uh, one part you can see there are four bolts it can be three bolt four bolts is bolt uh, according to the diameter of the part uh, and it is around uh, around 10 centimeter if it is for uh, high speed uh, tensile bolt this itself will be around uh, 10 centimeter if it is allen key then it will be the size will be very less bolt and the and this thing this particular coupler is of the same material in high speed tensile bolt you see the high speed tensile bolt the this part is like arrow here in allen key it is not like this so if this when this gets tightened it gets into into this coupler and this will penetrate especially in high speed tensile bolt this will penetrate into the rebar and that will be that will hold the rebar in position and after that after doing this this area they will get rid of it, it will be get rid of and so that everything will be in uniform we can't see a bolt after that the problem is that once it gets done then you cannot take it out but if it is allen key you can screw it out and then uh, we can take it out even after if you don't want to use it again then we can take it out it is not happening and the uh, other thing is that when we are using the MBT MBT coupler no need to rotate the bars okay the bar will be in the same position we just have to put this coupler in between and then tie it and that is the difference between this coupler MBT coupler and the threaded coupler so usually nowadays for uh, high uh, high diameter means if the steel bar is of bigger diameter then we it's always better to go for high speed tensile bolt uh, allen key bolt actually it will always fail in the uh, testing so it's always better to go for high speed tensile bolt so these are some of the things that today i discussed with you regarding the uh, lapping lapping or binding of two rebars one is as we said uh, by lapping with the binding wire second is welding and third is coupler or reducer and the coupler reducer can be two types threaded coupler or mbt coupler in the mbt coupler there are there is allen key bolt and high speed tensile bolt so which one is better high speed tensile bolt is far better than the allen key bolt so hope today's video you gain some knowledge regarding the binding of uh, rebars so we will meet in another video with another subject so please subscribe, share and like if you like this video. Thank you very much.